Hey everyone, welcome back to Order of the Phoenix. We are still recruiting people to the DA, well, telling them where the meeting is, etc, etc. So, let's have a look who's left. I don't know if there's anyone nearby. I think I said about um, going outside. So we all do that, but first I think someone wants to learn something. Productor was great. I think the others have some ideas about what you could teach us next. Yep, yeah. okay, cool stuff. Cool stuff. Neville? I wish I was as good at magic. Anyone? You? Ask someone else. Yep. Whatever you want to. No one wants to do anything. Oh, how about you guys? Yeah, here we go, Colin. Wait for this lesson. Are we going to do something exciting? I bet we are. Uh yeah. Can we blow something up? Or try and turn someone into a ferret? Or what's that spell where you make somebody completely freeze so they can't move? Petropicus Totalis. Okay, this is quite a simple spell, but it's very useful. To paralyze an opponent, you need to point your wand and tap it, as I'm doing. Petropicus Totalis! Watch out, mate. Petropicus Totalis! I am so good at this. Try it, Colin. Yeah, go, Colin. Wow, Harry, you're the greatest teacher ever. Thanks. Let's teach the others. Okay. So, um outside we shall go so we can use that uh, portrait the portrait of the dude pretty sure it's around here hey three heads are better than one you'd think so wouldn't you yes sorry oops this is the fourth floor so we just go up here and then we will come out in the clock tower and we'll be outside and there you have it. Isn't that Anthony? Let's tell him. Oh, another one. Cool stuff. Hiya, Harry. How do I find the room's requirements? You've heard too. Come to the seventh floor and think about how much you really need to find the room, and the door will appear. Uh, okay. I don't know if Terry or Michael knows. You better tell them. See you. We've told Michael sure I don't remember if we told Terry but we'll see anyway so you just go down here sorry I just need to adjust my mic a little bit all right so is there anyone in the courtyard there might be hello hello Anyone? Nope. Excuse me, guys. And we're just getting a view here because we haven't been out here before. So, uh, let's start with Cho Chang in the Owlery. And then uh, Ernie McMillan is by Hagrid's Heart, if I remember correctly. And then Luna is at um in the forbidden forest so the grounds are quite nice um the ice I suppose they they're quite good but yeah cuz they're sticking to the movie you know so I was just gonna say it could look nicer but yeah I'm not gonna complain and um, it's really nice with the birds and everything hearing the birds I think that's great they didn't have that in the earlier games I think I remember one time I was just doing something else I purposely left the game on in the background outside to hear the birds and stuff I know I could have done something like play bird sounds on YouTube but I didn't I just left the game on I'm crazy. Oh, I think we should stay outside in case Filch turns up. Filch is in the dungeons. 
But I'd have first year brought puking pastels and covered the place in... Ow! Outside, Ron. What was that for? Oh, Ron, honestly. Oh, hi, Harry. How are you? Fine. Has Gryffindor got a new keeper yet? Yeah, it's my friend, Ron Weasley. The tornado's hater. Yeah. You sending a package? Yes, a present for my mum's birthday. But I forgot to put the address on it, and now the owl's flown up there and won't come down. I'll get it for you. So we chase this owl for a while, which is a bit irritating, but it's all right. We've got this bit of soundtrack here, which I'll probably upload eventually. It's not one of my favourite tracks from the soundtrack, but it is still quite nice. I actually uploaded my favourite track yesterday. I didn't learn about this in care of magical creatures. Uh, so yeah, if you haven't noticed already, I've been uploading um, this game's soundtrack onto my channel. So far I have two videos. Um, tracks Welcome to Hogwarts and Exploring Hogwarts. And my favourite track is Exploring Hogwarts. I'm pretty sure I wrote it in the description that that was my favourite. So yeah, but um, yeah, so I'll continue uploading them because it's a really nice soundtrack and it seems people have been enjoying them. So um, just for a while we just have to do what we're doing now, like move towards the owl then it will fly off to another spot, but eventually it will land properly and we'll get the box. Oh dear. I've got to fix this. Oops. In my opinion, um, some of the coolest stuff you do in this game is when you're trying to uh, piss off Umbridge, basically. Do some really cool stuff, then some nice missions, I reckon. The recruiting stuff's okay, but... Yeah. I'm not looking forward to the Luna one because I've said before that that really can get irritating. And you'll see why. Probably in this part. Okay, we're just about finished here. Just need to repair this. And then I think um, it will either land one more time or two more times. But the last place it will land is in that pedestal thing in the middle there, just here. We'll just fix all these now. Good job Hagrid's not watching. Come back. Oh no, it lands on that one too, okay. What an annoying owl. I think that owl's allergic to me. <laughs> Here we go. Thank you, Harry. That was really nice of you. Uh, no problem. I like spending time with you, Harry. Yeah, thanks. I mean, me too. I was wondering if, uh... Yes? I mean, would you like to, uh, to bring Marietta to the meeting as well? It's in the room of requirement. Oh. Yes. All right then. Great. I'll see you later then. Yeah, of course. How did it go? How did what go? Oh, nothing. Sometimes you make no sense at all, Hermione. That's because you have the emotional range of a teaspoon, Ronald. Okay, six more people to go, not many out the door and running furiously down to Hagrid's hut and we hear the birdies when you're outside unless you're doing a mission like we were just then they just let you hear actually what I was about to say is not true we do hear some music so just forget about what I was saying Um, 
this is an original piece for this game. Um, but for the Ernie one, I'm pretty sure we hear something, some music from Prisoner of Azkaban. Oh, we can actually get these right now. Oh, go away. Good for you. Uh, I think that's a money plant. Oh, you can't pick it up now. But we'll need to get them. And Harry looks funny running down the hill, in my opinion. Ah. Here is Ernie. Hello, Ernie. Ernie. We haven't told him about the GA meeting yet. Hey, Ernie. Hey, Ernie. We found somewhere for the GA to practice. Sorry, I can't come just now. I'm trying to get Snape's homework done. Have you completed yours yet? Which one? We have to procure the ingredients for tomorrow's lesson. Oh, honestly, Harry, haven't you found them yet? And when am I supposed to do that? I've got all my other homework, Umbridge's attentions, and I'm teaching you Defense Against the Dark Arts. No need to be so irritable. Listen, you find five moly plants in the mandrake root, and I'll find the other potion ingredients for you. Where am I supposed to find those things? Well, Professor Sprout has mandrakes in the Herbology greenhouse, and moly plants grow in the castle grounds, so we just have to look for those. Does she know everything? So, um, since we're out here, we'll get the moly plants and then we'll go and help Luna and then at some point we'll get the uh, mandrake root. We don't get those moly things, Harry. Is there one over here? Yep, there is. That's one moly plant, Harry. And we went past Harry, a few before. wasn't letting me run. I hate it when it makes... The game often makes it so I can't run and it's really annoying. So just keep your eyes open. There's one here and I'm pretty sure there's one around here somewhere. Run Harry! Ah! Run! I can see it. We don't get those moly things, Harry. That's all those moly plant things. But we've still got to get that mandrake root. Snake never gives us easy homework, does he? We'll have to go to the herbology greenhouses. Can you please let me run? Thank you. Now let's go help Luna. Get the most annoying one out the way. This music here is from Prince of Asquen. It's um it's something to do with winter, the title of it. It's like follow winter, I think something like that. I think I may have uploaded it already. I'm pressing square. We'll have to go to the Herbology Greenhouse. No, I don't want to talk to you. I was trying to examine the footprints. It's like the dragon cage from Goblet of Fire. Hi, Ron. Have you come to see Professor? What's up this room? Up there. Luna, we found somewhere for our Defense Against the Dark Arts group to meet. It can't come until the fall has been fed. It's really shy, though. I don't think it'll come down until the big ones do. Okay, let's feed them. We'll have to get the food to the highest point in the clearing. 
this is where things get annoying. With the food, you've got to levitate it with Wingardium Leviosa, but because you can't raise it all the way to the top at once, you have to wedge it behind rocks. Um, but often you either miss the rocks altogether, or it rolls out from behind the rocks, and then rolls all the way back to the bottom of the hill. And that's why this can be very irritating. See, the spell actually runs out if you try to move it too far. I think I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> Sorry. Let's go again. Hopefully we can... Get a bind there. Please don't roll out. <gasps> that is probably the fastest I've ever done it. Whoa. Are you going to be able to come to the Follow me. Do we really need her help? Okay, let's uh let's go to Uh, let's go to Herbology and get the Mandrake root. Since it's fresh in my mind that we've got to get that and then we'll start working on other people. We've nearly finished recruiting now so we'll be progressing with the story. This I am pretty sure He's got a... Oh, sorry. Oh, it's got to be the um second to last Harry Potter game that I will uh, be Let's Playing. Because I um... I think there's not really any else for me to do that I own apart from Half the Prince and Prince of Azkaban PC and 1 and 2 PC but I don't want to do them so that just leaves me Prince of Azkaban PC because I don't really want to do Half the Prince either so hang on Hello Harry, I heard you found someone for the DA to meet does everyone know about our secret meeting place? Uh, did you kill a basilisk with the sword in Dumbledore's office? We're learning how to use spells, not swords. Oh, okay. I don't know if Michael or Anthony knows where to meet. You better tell them. We've already told them. I'll see you in the... Room of Requirement. Later then. <laughs> Great. That's Michael Corner, Anthony Goldstein and Terry Boot crossed off our list. Did you have to get so many people involved in the DA, Hermione? We should be glad so many people are prepared to do it. Although, Michael probably wouldn't have come along if Ginny wasn't going out with him. She's what? She's going out with... Since when? She got together with Michael at the end of last year. I don't like him. Big surprise. Huh. To the first floor! Move out the way, bitches! This is my portrait. Uh. I think the um outdoor animation sort of lets the game down a bit. I mean not lets the game down. Um what I'm trying to say is the um castle interior looks really really good, but outside doesn't look that good. Like, I think the castle interior is the most spectacular thing in the game. If that makes sense. The amount of detail they've put into it is stunning. So this is a bit of music from the first Harry Potter game. 
I would love to do a let's play of that on PS1 but I don't actually own it on PS1 because I bought it a while ago when I say a while I mean about three four years ago actually it could be about five years ago now wow time flies um what was I saying but yeah um I bought it a while ago but it didn't work like it played up to the um bit where you run away from the troll and then it just it froze on the loading screen so yeah Now let's see if I can remember them all. There's one in this very courtyard, which is right over here. No, it's not. I am seeing things. I thought I saw it. It's right here. I think there's a talking gargoyle somewhere near here. Are you a talking gargoyle? We normally talk to ones of God's state. I don't normally talk to gargoyles. Or if you'd imagine many gargoyles are grateful for that. Thanks for talking to us. <laughs> you didn't seem very happy. That's one gargoyle found. Um, so there's one there, there's one on the third floor, there's one in the paved courtyard, there's one on the fourth floor, and I've just listed four. So where's the other one? This isn't the right way. Um... Ah, uh, where's the other one? Oh, we'll find it sooner or later. Oh yeah, I know where it is. It's at the end of the viaduct. So yeah, I remember them all now. It's good. I hope I never have to eat that again. Having gills once was enough, thanks. So we need to get some earmuffs from over yeah, here. Smart ass. They don't let us through. I want to know what's in here. Ah! That's what's in here. Oh dear. So we can head back to Ernie, but first let's see something. Wait, is it only Dean and Ernie? Oh, it's only Dean and Ernie left. So, um. Yeah, we'll look next part we'll look for the gargoyles and um go and see Ernie to give him the potion ingredients. So thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.